What's up troops? It's a long time coming for this video. As many of you know, I suffer from some mental health stuff, depression, bipolar, PTSD. And actually we're looking right now, me and my therapist, my doctor, that maybe it's ADHD. Because a lot of depression can be different. Depression, for no reason, you know, when you know everything's going great, it's true depression, right? You can't get out of bed, can't eat, you feel like shit, you're just down. And then there's depression that comes from ADHD and you just being, feeling humiliated, feeling down on yourself, feeling useless, you know, kind of like you can't do anything right because you're forgetting things, you're not doing things, you're not prioritizing stuff, you're just, your head's all over the place. So we're kind of looking at that now, but as I'm going through um, my therapy work and all that, this is something my wife made a few years back and it's a book from all my clients over the years about how much they love me. And uh, something that was very hard for me to read because I didn't love myself and I didn't believe any of this stuff, you know? So I'm gonna uh, make a little series here where I read a couple pages and uh, you know, we'll see how it goes, right? So I'm gonna start at the beginning. I'm not gonna use last names. You're gonna know who you are. Um, this is from Lisa. Lisa says, even though I no longer live in Fort McMurray, I am deeply saddened that one of my favorite locations is closing its doors. So yeah, so my wife got me this after we had to close down the gym. This is over the pandemic and you know, we just weren't making money. It was like 10 G's a month. Uh, we just weren't bringing it in. I was trying to do all I could with online videos and it just wasn't working and the overhead and I just saw how much it was killing, killing us, you know? Um, so we just said, you know what? We got to shut it down, but I felt like so much of a failure. So this is Lisa here. Even though I no, no longer live in Fort McMurray, I'm deeply saddened that one of my favorite locations is closing its doors. I started with ICF in August of 2016 and discovered the wonders of weightlifting. It was a bit overwhelming at first, but Santo guided me. My body changed so quickly. My favorite will always be doing pads. She liked to do kickboxing. I love holding pads for people. Where am I here? I miss that so much. I made some friends at the gym as well. ICF was my second family. I was always excited to get to the gym a few minutes early to shoot the shit with members until it was time to begin. Don't make fun of me. But I also miss the sound of the timer. People hate that timer. So we got a timer, we do a lot of high intensity interval training with weightlifting and cardio and kickboxing and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, she liked the timer. So many times that I doubted my abilities and Santa would prove me wrong time and time again. I still underestimate myself at times, but will push it and remind myself that I can still do more than I think. The hugs and high fives, the giggles, the dancing around, the shouting, the sweat, the encouragement of trainers and clients. The Friday workouts with a partner, having to drive home in minus 20, it gets cold out here, getting to drive home in minus 20 with the window down because that is how hard my body worked. The sore muscles, the one-on-ones with meaningful conversations, boot camps, so many great memories. I hope that for you, Santo, this will be the beginning of a new start with new goals and happiness. I wish you all the best. Lisa, former ICF client. Thank you, Lisa. Love you, girl. Miss you too. And it was, it was a beginning to a start. I just didn't know how hard I had to work for it to find myself. And for me to actually feel that and be able to read it and sit down and, and, and say it to you. It's amazing. So I'm gonna try to do one of those a day. Um, we, got, we got a bunch in here. Thanks for listening, guys. Strive with OCs.